Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we had learned that how do we calculate surface area of different combination of solids. Now we'll be learning that how do we calculate their volumes. Now when two or more solids are combined to form a new solid, then we can calculate the volume of the solid thus formed either by adding the volumes of all those solids or by subtracting the volumes of those solids. Now just consider this oil tanker or water tanker. You might have seen this. Now if you look at the shape of this water tanker, you will find out that we can divide this shape into one cylinder and we can get two hemispheres out of this shape. So if we have to calculate the volume of this water tanker or oil tanker, all we have to do is we have to add up the volume of this cylinder and the volume of these two hemispheres. So in this case, we had calculated the volume of the net solid by adding up the volumes of individual solids. Now let's consider one more case. Consider this glass and this hemispherical bowl. The radius of the glass and the hemispherical bowl are same here. Now let's say that I fill this glass with water. And after filling up the glass, if I place this hemispherical bowl inside this glass, what will happen? Water will start to overflow this glass. Why? Because some of the volume has been occupied by this hemispherical bowl. So if we have to calculate the volume of this solid hence formed, we can calculate its volume by subtracting the volume of this hemisphere from the hemisphere of this cylinder. So in this case, we are getting the volume of the solid formed by subtracting the volume of individual solids. So now we'll be looking at some examples to understand that how do we calculate the volume of solid by combination of different solids. So let's look at a first example. A first example says here that we have a solid which is in the shape of a cone which is standing on the hemisphere and both of their radii are equal to 1 centimeters and the height of the cone is equal to its radius that means the height is also 1 centimeters. So we have to calculate the volume of solid in terms of pi. So first let's draw the solid. So this will be a solid here. It is an, a hemisphere and a cone is mounted on this hemisphere. So a solid will look something like this. Now if we have to calculate the volume of this solid, then we have to calculate the volume of this hemisphere and the volume of this cone. Now in this case, you will find out that the volume of the solid can be found out by adding up the volume of this cone and this hemisphere. So we can write down that the volume of solid will be equals to the volume of the cone plus the volume of the hemisphere. So we can get the volume of the solid. Now we know that the volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So this will be 1 by 3 pi r square h plus the volume of this hemisphere will be 2 by 3 pi r cube. This we know. So this will be 2 by 3 pi into r cube. Now we know very well that r is given to us here as 1 centimeters. Both the cases r is same. It is 1 centimeters only and the height of the cone is also 1 here. So let's put the values. So this will be equals to 1 by 3 pi r is 1. So its square will also be 1. So this will be 1 square into 1 plus 2 by 3 into pi into 1 whole cube. Now let's solve this. This will be 1 by 3 pi. 1 square will be 1 into 1 will be 1. So this will be 1 by 3 pi plus. Similarly, if we solve this, this will be 1 cube will be 1 and this will be 2 by 3 pi. So 2 by 3 pi. 
Now if we add these two by taking LCM, 3 will be LCM here and this will be 1 plus 2, 3 upon 3. So it comes out to be pi only. So this will be pi centimeter cube. So we had seen here that we have to find the volume of this solid form by adding up the volumes of the hemisphere and the cone.